Hi everyone, I'm going to go through a demo for JUnit for Java testing and VS Code. Um, so here you're going to start at the VS Code welcome page and you're going to click uh, Control Shift P. And right now um, you're going to want to create a Java project. So you're going to want to click this button right here or type it in. And this will take like a second to load. So here you have um, all these different types of projects you can do, but we're just going to do one without build tools. And so I'm going to want to put it in a file that I just created, um, or sorry, a folder that I just created, and that's called JUnit Testing. So that's where I'll select the location. And then the name, I'll just give it the same name, but you can name it whatever you want. Awesome. So. Um, every time you make a project, you're going to have this lib section, um, which we'll put stuff in later, and then you're always going to have source, and after that, Java will always be loaded. So just to make sure, um, I'm just going to click out of this, but just to make sure this works, um, let's run it. So we can click this run code right here. And so here, it outputs, hello world, great, so we're good. Um, so the project works. Um, so now I'm actually going to um, put in my uh, Bing account classes so I can show you guys um, what the next steps are. I'm gonna put both of them in source with the app. All right, awesome, great. So yeah, so now they're here. So right now you actually see that there's some errors here um, and we're going to get to that right now. Um, so to get JUnit to work, there's a few things that you need to do. Um, and the first thing is actually going to, um, I'm actually going to link this page below, but this page um, is just the basics of testing Java with uh, VS Code. And so um, right here, you're going to quick start. You need to download this JUnit platform console standalone.jar file. Um, and this has everything that, um, that VS Code is going to need to get JUnit to work. And so I open it up right here. Um, and so I'm actually going to go and download this, as you see I did earlier. But you can download this right here. And you're going to click the all.jar um, button. And we're going to keep it. And the reason that you do that is so that you can have everything. Um, and this should only take a few seconds to load or to download. OK, so it looks like it's downloaded now. Um, so now um, for this to work, you're, prob you're actually going to want to go back here. And you're going to want to go to your downloads. Um, and so then you're going to want to move it into where your project is. And so um, I kept my project in the repos and then the JUnit testing. Um, and then that's the project name. Um, and then you're actually going to want to put it in the lib folder. And I'm going to show you why you want to do that right now. So we're going to first see that it's in the lib folder. And great, those errors actually just went away. And that's because um, if you go down here, you see Java projects here. Let me close this. Um, you see there's reference libraries and the JUnit library is here. And so um, that's all you need to really do to get JUnit to work. All right, so I'm gonna close this and go back here. Um, and so let's just look through the Bing account class right now. Um, so the Bing account class, um, the way I have it, it takes an input and basically just does um, basic things that a Bing account would do. So you can deposit money, you can withdraw money and you can show your balance. Um, and so here I just put um, I just put some code just to show that the functionality is there. Um, so I can just run this real quick to just show you what it does. Okay, and so right here it shows you that um, I deposited ten dollars, I withdrew five, and so my balance is five. But now let's do actual tests for it. So here I created some JUnit tests, um, and so here I'm just testing deposit. So what if I had to ca call deposit twice? Um, is basically this part of the test. Um, and so if you watch the video, um, this is the setup part. So I made a new object and I did the depositing. Um, and then the expected value that I I'm, think that I'm going to get I'm, as the balance would be, um, would actually, oh, I actually changed this earlier. But this um, right now would be seven. Um, so then I would expect the, um, that was if it failed. Um, and so, um, so it would be 12 as the, as the float um, because 
that's the amount of money that we deposited and that should be your balance. And so, um, and then the, the test for withdrawal would be, I'm set up the same way, I made a bank account object. Um, and I can honestly do this in, I could have done um, setting up this bank account object. I could have actually done this in a setup method. Um, if you wanna look more into, into JUnit later, um, but just for this demo, um, I have it here. And so then you can deposit five and withdraw five. And once you do this, you can see that um, the value, the expected value that we think should happen is zero. And so we'll see if the program actually does that. So you can run the test in, in a few ways, actually. You can run all the tests by just doing run tests here for the whole class, or you can run each test individual, individually. Um, and you can also um, go to test over here um, and you saw the packages and then you see bank account tests and you see these different tests. You can run them all here or run them individually like this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run them through here. Awesome, so as you see here, they both pass, but if you want more information, um, you, can actually, um, you can actually do two things to this, uh, to see this. So you can click the check mark right here to show the test report, or you can do control shift P again to show the test report here. Um, but for now, I'm just going to click this check button. And as you see right here, um, the test had passed, um, which is great. So let's make it fail. Let's do what I had originally. So let's move that there. And let's run the test again and see what happens. As you see here, it failed. And um, on this test report, you can see this long uh, stack trace of what had happened. Um, but basically, the expected value was 12, but it actually got 10. Um, and so um, this would not be good um, if the test actually worked like this. If the, um, let's say I actually changed the expected value and I expected something and the actual value is different, um, then, then you would want to relook at your code. So I'm going to close this for now. Um, and this is, this is the end of my demo. Um, I hope you guys have a good luck on the rest of the project.